Chris Barraza, a tourism scholar from the United States. Um, born and raised in New York City where I work in government. My name is Pablo Ducru. Uh, I'm Franco-Mexican. I was a PhD student uh, at MIT in the United States in nuclear physics. I chose tourism because I wanted to gain a perspective in China that I really couldn't get anywhere else. Uh, mainly also because there's a lot of focus around leadership development here. So looking at people from various different industries to study leadership in business, leadership in government, leadership in the nonprofit sector, leadership in the arts. So a lot of development from, from these areas. I think the primary mission of Schwarzman that what makes this program unique is that it's trying to take people that want to take care of the world, that want to shape it in the good direction. The curriculum in the program is kind of what you make it. Um, they have a few compulsory classes. So you have your global affairs, your 40 years in China, and there are some requirements with regards to certain classes you have to take. So for example, there's classes that students have to take outside of Shorzman College, like Tsinghua University classes. Um, there's also some classes that have to do with China's development over the years. And there's certain classes that people have to take uh, leadership in certain areas. Also, we have Chinese language every single day, um, if you opt into it. Yeah, so Monday through Thursday, Chinese language for about 45 minutes a day. There's various pools of classes that you can take. Some of them are really focused on international relations and politics. Some of them are really focused on China. If you want to become a China expert, understanding not only the Chinese, of course, language and culture, but even recent reform, political structure, uh, even the ideology classes, you can take those. You also have classes that are structured more around like an MBA in terms of finance and economics. That's the, the path you choose for yourself. We also have something that uh, is cross-border that everybody has to take that has to do with leadership. And they want to make sure we all have thoughts about what is a responsible leader, what is a good leader. Well, the program's fully funded. Um, the, we do not pay tuition here. So we are a residential college. Every student has their own private room with a private bathroom. Um, and yeah, we have the facilities here. We have a gym, we have um, dining hall, uh, auditorium, classrooms in the building. In terms of financial uh, compensation, what is given for the whole year, for all your expenses in China for the whole year is $4,000. One thing that's really unique about the Shorts Scholars Program is that it brings people who are very accomplished in their own fields together. And it's also broad enough that you have interesting conversations with people. What I really think makes this program is the scholars, is that they're leaders, for example, there's students here who have started their own companies. There are people here who, have, who are held elected office as politicians. I think the mission of the college has never been more urgent, more important. And so that guarantees, I think, its future. So personally for me, I served in government for a while. I worked in local politics in New York. Um, I really want to bolster my skill set, especially at a young age. I want to go into my mid-20s with the ability to have my portfolio full of skills, both from the public sector and the private sector. So I believe this program is a great opportunity for students to do that, to um, to utilize their skills in, in another sector and transition them to a, a different sector. So this is a total big change for me, and I'm really excited for uh, you know gaining different experiences. One of the reasons why I call the course is because after this, I would like to do a global company that would uh, both create economic value while creating sustainability. The relationship between the United States and China is going to shape the 21st century. I think the mission of the college as long as it's able to do a proper training of the people that are coming here. And so far, I think it's done an amazing job of that.